Can black be mixed with other colors to make white? Welcome to our video where we explore the question, can black be mixed with other colors to make white? It's a fascinating topic that sparks curiosity and imagination. In this video, we will delve into the world of colors, their properties, and the science behind them. So, let's get started. Understanding Colors To understand whether black can be mixed with other colors to make white, we need to have a basic understanding of how colors work. Colors are perceived by the human eye through the interaction of light with objects. When white light, such as sunlight, passes through a prism, it breaks down into a spectrum of colors called the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum consists of various wavelengths, and each wavelength corresponds to a specific color. At one end of the spectrum, we have red, and at the other end, we have violet, with all the other colors in between. When all these colors blend together, they create white light. The Color Mixing Process Now that we have a foundation in color theory, let's dive into the process of color mixing. In the realm of colors, there are two primary systems, additive and subtractive color mixing. Additive color mixing Additive color mixing is the process of combining different colored lights to create new colors. This system is commonly used in displays, such as computer monitors and televisions. In additive color mixing, the three primary colors are red, green, and blue RGB. When red, green, and blue lights are combined at full intensity, they create white light. However, if you were to mix red, green, and blue pigments or paints together, you would end up with a muddy, dark color rather than white. Subtractive color mixing Subtractive color mixing, on the other hand, involves the blending of pigments or dyes. This method is commonly used in traditional art, printing, and mixing paints. The three primary colors in subtractive color mixing are cyan, magenta, and yellow CMY. When cyan, magenta, and yellow pigments are mixed together at full intensity, they produce a dark color that approximates black. This is because each pigment absorbs certain wavelengths of light, resulting in the absence of color, which our eyes perceive as black. The Role of Black and White Now, let's address the role of black and white in color mixing. Black as an absence of color black is not considered a color itself. Rather, it is the absence of light or color. When an object absorbs all colors and reflects no light, we perceive it as black. In the context of mixing colors, adding black to a mixture will darken or shade the existing colors, but it will not create white. White as a combination of all colors, white, on the other hand, is the presence of all colors combined. When all colors from the visible spectrum blend together, they create white light. However, in the context of pigment or paint mixing, combining various colors with black will not result in white. Instead, it will create darker shades or tones. In conclusion, black cannot be mixed with other colors to make white. Black is the absence of color, while white is the combination of all colors. The process of color mixing, whether additive or subtractive, does not allow for the creation of white by mixing black with other colors. We hope this video has shed light on the fascinating world of colors and clarified any misconceptions surrounding the mixing of black and other colors to create white. Thank you for watching, and we.